I knew this wasn't a good event. One, participating in this event is contributing to the overall arching problem. Calarium creates these events that are for Krakens, and if you participate, you're supporting the problem, yada, 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 yada. Look, it's not even that it was Archer and that it was a FOMO thing. It was more along the lines of, like, I had never, ever participated in a champ. I've been playing for five years, and I've never participated in one of these champ training events where the first prize is a champion and i thought to myself you know at least once i'd like to try it and let me tell you guys let me t come over here real quick let me, let me tell you something this is the first and only time that i'm ever going to do a champ training event it is brutal i've been hard at work going hard in the paint you know my whole five years of playing raid I've never participated and i wanted to be able to say that i've done this i knew this was not a good event to get into this event is designed for krakens I am not a Kraken. I'm not him. Two, I did not go into this event prepared. I came off of prior champ training events. I'm having fun. My heart rate was pretty much up this entire time. So it was nice to feel something. It's kind of like when I first pushed for plat. Like when I first decided that I wanted to enter the upper echelons of arena and started pushing plat, my heart really started to pump. I found this newfound adrenaline in raid. Cause you know, sharp pulling is, is cool, but after a while, like once your roster is kind of like mine, eh. Archer is not gonna do anything for me, honestly. I already won key all of the Hydra difficulties. Like, I just wanted to participate in something I'd never done before. Whatever you want to call it, rationalize, whatever. The main point is, I thought it was gonna be fun, and I did it. This guy, I don't know who he is, but I was sitting well above these guys. Easy. I still did not feel safe. And I was telling everybody, I was like, I don't feel safe here. Out of nowhere, my wife woke me up because I was snoring. I wake up, this guy is like right on my heels. I'm talking 10,000 points under me and he's climbing fast. I start freaking out. It's like 0, 0700. So I, I hop right to it. I get back into champ training. I start burning more energy that I had in my reserves and he still passed me. It is sad, but you got to roll with it. You will try so hard and you will get so far and in the end it doesn't even matter get far just to lose it all and in the end it doesn't even matter so right now i don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard i try i'm going to take second place on the chin happily there's nothing else i could do if i'm going to lose this war tonight i have you guys with me and we will lose it all together except for the ones of you who are actually winning i'll drink to that i'm probably not gonna spend till june <laughs> Good. somebody in, in the in the stream tiger typed in change your name to i have 500 bucks and that should make me go. <laughs> that's actually pretty funny i think he's like ipr or something because like those are the, the biggest whales that i don't really know people in raid too much but i i know that uh when i was in gods and legends the only time we ever were like oh crap like let's let's vote on if we want to participate in this cbc is when we were going up against ipr huge spenders polarium is so good at this right and this isn't new we all know this i knew this going in they pit us against each other in, in this, this crack in war. Because they know that once you're invested, you are more than likely going to invest even further. Quote, unquote. And spend spend even further. Because it's like, it's the, what's the, the fallacy call? The uh, sunk cost fallacy? It's like, oh, I've already put this much in. I might as well take it further. In for a penny, in for a pound. Exactly. I like Spider because his animations are really fast. Yeah, his animations for the decreased defense and weaken are... Absolutely fucking useful. I have heard the stories. I've seen content creators talk about it. These champion training Kraken events, right? But you don't really, like, understand it until you've been in it. Honestly, it's probably not even smart that I'm streaming this. Because, like, what if he is in chat? Or what if he is watching this? Like you guys said. And he's trying to see if, if I'm going to come close or not. It's not about the trophy. It was about the hunt. And if you're a man, you probably can relate. Babe, if you're listening, just ignore it. I'm just, I'm just being a guy. I'm just I'm being a guy. Just let me let me be a guy and, and, and talk to my fellow men here. I'm proud of myself for trying. Or am I just accepting the L? and try to make myself feel good. Now nah, I'm gonna sleep happy tonight. I got a beautiful wife right next to me. You can choose to be a loser and be fucking mad about it, or you can choose to take it on the chin and be happy. I am prepped for the next champ training. Congratulations to anybody who got the Archer Queen. Love is just an addiction you don't want to quit. That's Raid Shadow Legends. It is finished. The event is over. I'm gonna take a break from Raid. Give myself some time back. I'm gonna play some other games. Like, I really wanna get through Spider-Man 2. Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming out soon. I have Final Fantasy on pre-order as well. Baldur's Gate 3 I need to jump onto. So if you're not following my other channel where I do variety games, I'm probably gonna stream and do some more content over there. So if you wanna see more of me outside of the context of doing Raid, you know what to do. 
Then on Saturday, it's it's the Archer. She's back again. Oh my god. The Archer is back for a 10x and a 2x event on Saturday. So Saturday, Sunday, it's the 2x uh, for her.